When you picture temperature scales, you usually picture something like this, or some other temperature scale that uses Fahrenheit and Celsius. Fahrenheit is most commonly used in the United States, while the rest of the world is using Celsius. But what if I told you there was a third scale? The third scale is known as the Calvin scale. It is also known as the absolute temperature scale. This scale provides a temperature of absolute zero, which is infinite cold. Since this scale has absolute zero, it cannot have negative numbers, but that is opposite for Fahrenheit and Celsius, which does include negative numbers. Calvin's absolute zero is negative 273.15 degrees in Celsius and negative 459.67 degrees in Fahrenheit. But we do not really use Calvin for telling the temperature outside. We use it for other things like telling the temperature of liquid helium or nitrogen. We even use it to find the temperatures of color. Now we are going to talk about heat, which you think can be measured on a temperature scale, but it really can't. Temperature scales measure how hot or cold something is, not the heat of an object. Heat is defined as the energy that flows as a result of a difference in temperature. Heat is defined through the kinetic molecular theory. It is the sum of all kinetic energies of all the molecules of an object. So hot objects may have a greater kinetic energy, but may not have greater total kinetic energy. Heat also always flows from hot to cold, and heat will continue to flow until the two objects have the same temperature. Thermal energy is related to the temperature of an object. Thermal energy refers to the internal energy present in a system due to its temperature. There are three types of thermal energy, conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction is the heat transfer between objects that are touching. Convection is the heat transfer in a fluid or air when hot air rises and cold air sinks. And radiation is the heat transfer of electromagnetic waves. This picture shows how all thermal energies work. Conduction is when the hand is touching the hot handle. Convection is when the hot water is traveling to the top of the pot and the cold water is traveling down and radiation is the warm waves the fire is giving off. Now you're going to watch a quick video just to review everything we learned. There are three ways that he can travel, but it can travel in any direction from the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow and disperses the radiation conduction and convection. There are three ways that he can travel, but it can travel in any direction from the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow and disperses the radiation conduction and convection. First things first, let's discuss heat, what it is before you pay for it to warm your feet. Heat is the energy that flows when atoms and molecules move, it diffuses out towards coolness. Temperature is the measurement of the average motion of these atoms and molecules in the atmosphere. So there you have it. Now the first way of transportation of heat energy is radiation like sound waves from your radio stations filling the empty space around you. Your radiator warms you, but don't start a fire now, I warn you. Heat is going through radiation from the sun before it burns you. From 93 million miles away to re-radiate this heat is what the earth does for you. This is survival, what this heat is going through before it rises to the sky and it's gone. So there are three ways that heat can travel. But it can travel in any direction from the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow and disperses the radiation, conduction, and convection. There are three ways that heat can travel. But it can travel in any direction from the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow and disperses the radiation, conduction, and convection. Conducting the second method on my list. You can feel it like a hot pot in your fist with the handle gripped. I bet you'd rather grab a candle lit cause it's heat through conduction that causes this. Atoms and matter in a fixed position vibrate when heated like a pan in the kitchen. Transmit the heat energy to atoms next to them that are cooler than they are to cause equilibrium. To even out the temperature the heat has to travel. Up the spoon in your tea in the morning with your bagel. It might burn your hand but just learn the land of conduction heat energy until you understand. The earth gains little from conduction. 
suction It's mostly radiation that helps us function and keeps us warm It's just another way for heat to move But now let's move on to method three to prove There are three ways that heat can travel But it can travel in any direction From the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow And disperses the radiation, conduction and convection There are three ways that heat can travel but it can travel in any direction From the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow And disperses the radiation, conduction and convection Convection is the movement of heat and liquids and gases To even out the temperature fastest This process is called diffusion It's a flow of particles cold and hot in a fluid If you're not listening then stop what you're doing Cause this is the final mode that heat can move in and this affects you every day It's the breeze at your back and the wind at your face When heat reaches the earth, it rises at a rate With the air in the place and it moves up till it cools Trillions of molecules together make up the weather that we see on the news It's how they measure the pressure of the air and the temperature But convection is how it got there in the atmosphere So don't be scared Heat moves in three ways so we made things clear It's like there are three ways that heat can travel but it can travel in any direction From the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow And disperses the radiation, conduction and convection There are three ways that heat can travel But it can travel in any direction From the sun it moves to the earth quick as a shadow And disperses the radiation, conduction and convection